you know what's funny? It's that, you know, when we were heartbroken or we were obsessing over women or something, we usually like self-sabotage. We, we can do this with other stuff too, you know, we kind of just self-sabotage ourselves with listening to music. They kind of elevate that bad feeling already. Because that's kind of what music does, you know, elevates like an ambience or like a feeling. That's why you listen to music with your voice, right? On poker night, you know, crazy good feeling. That's why music gets used at parties, you know, get into that mood, you know, to like to evoke feelings within, right? And I think it's bad to uh, self-sabotage yourself by listening to like sad music. I think that actually has an effect on, it has an effect on you, right? Obviously it has. So I wouldn't listen to like sad music. I think that's bad, you know, even if, I mean, and that's kind of probably what you want to do when, if you're like heartbroken or maybe you're obs like infatuated with women, that's kind of, that's maybe what you want to do, but you shouldn't. I, I've noticed this over the years because I've done that. I've, I've gone like, maybe I was like infatuated with a woman and I, I've gone back and I've listened to like this, a, a song that kind of elevated that feeling and it's not good. What, so what I found is that I've, I've give, I'm giving you guys three songs that you should switch out, like, instead of doing that. And, uh, yeah, I'll just go straight to it. Like, the first one is called the Anti-Simp Song. Basically, that's what me and my uh, my boy John back in Norway, we call it. We call it the Anti-Simp Song. It's Superman by Eminem. That's the song. The Anti-Simp Song. Superman by Eminem. Absolute banger. Number two, Freight Ends of Sanity by Metallica. This is like an angry song. Gets you into that mood. I don't know how much metal you like, how much metal you've listened to in the past. Uh, but this is a good one. You know, gets you into that, like, fuck you mood. You know, bam, you know, blast those weights. Use these in the gym. You know, put your, yeah, do these, like, these songs. And all this time you spend listening to those sad music is taking your focus away from getting, like, work done, you know. So use, like, put... Oh, hey, the sad songs, put these on and get into the gym. Go blast the weights. Poof, get huge. Uh, third one is Survival of the Fittest by Mob Deep. You probably heard like Shook once. That's a like, really known song. Survival of the Fittest, so it's really good as well. Superb. And the funny about Survival of the Fittest is that it was actually my, the song I went and just, I, I just sang on it over and over and over again during our last like field exercise during our winter course in the special forces, I sang this song over and over and over again, you know, over again. I swear to God, I never stopped. <laughs> I never stopped uh, singing on it. You know, you're looking down at your skis, you're sh tired as shit. You're just walking in the snow, minus 20. Uh, and then, yeah, not much to do. So yeah, what do you do? Yeah, you just sing, you just sing to make the time pass. I was like, no, 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 in my head. That's, uh, so that's fun. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you guys those three. You should go have a listen. I'll name them again. Superman by Eminem, Freight Ends of Sanity by Metallica, and Survival of the Fittest by Mob Deep. Really good songs. Okay, so go to that. Don't listen to any sad songs. Okay, you don't want to be sad. Stop being sad. Okay. Boom. Get in the gym, okay? It's okay to be sad, actually. I'll take that back, you know? It's okay to be sad, but like, don't don't act like a loser, even if you're sad, you know? Just oh, get in the gym, you know? <coughs> Sorry. It's funny, because my brother, he talked about this, you know? Because he was depressed, but he still went to the gym, and I found it so funny, I actually laughed at him. He, he, found it funny. he finds it funny, too, so it's not like I'm a piece of shit. But he talked about this. It's like when he was <laughs> depressed, he would go to the gym and he would like cry when he uh, when he had like his rest periods, and when um, when he when, then he would like cry during the exercises too. It's funny, but you know he still he still went in there and you know worked out. That's funny, you know, just funny. Anyways, digression, I guess. Listen to those songs, and uh, have a great evening, and God bless.